Hi everybody, Radical Gardener. I cannot find my microphone, so I'll try and speak up. Hey, listen, some clarification from yesterday. First of all, yesterday's video that talks about the seeds that I like, that is, now has all the links below. One of the companies that I talked about, Bountiful Garden Seeds, that company went out of business, I think, in 2017. So the seeds that I had were sent to me in 2018 from Alice. So, But if you go to the link that I sent, they make recommendations where to go to buy seeds that they liked. And they had a real high bar of, of what was a good seed. So that's there. I also included the link to the yellow peas that I was reading about. So that's there too. And, um, and also the Russian, um, the Russian seeds. And I didn't talk about the lettuce from Russia. Now I have that in my seed box. Um, and I'm going to be organizing that. So I have to go and look for it. But the Russian lettuce was the one that wouldn't, it, it just kept coming. I would, I would cut it and there would be more. And I would cut it and there would be more. And it would, and it would grew, grew through the hottest part of the summer, which is, it, it, which is not typical. I mean, usually lettuce just, just bolts if you, have it, if you don't have it kind of in semi-shade. And I planted it in a stupid place where there was just, you know, nothing but sun. But I'm telling you, that was some hearty lettuce and absolutely delicious. I just pulled it. You know what? I could have probably gotten one more round out of it about a week ago, but it was time to get rid of that pot. And so I just sent it off with Gretchen so she could have the soil. And another thing, I had a question. So I wasn't really clear about what I do with the the fennel and what part of the fennel I use to drink tea. So I'm going to put this down for a minute. And turn it around. Okay. So, you see I have my teapot there. And what I do is I just grab a handful of the fennel, just like that. Throw it in the pot. Pour the hot water over it. And I don't even have to use a strainer. And just pour boiling hot water and I drink that tea all day long. Fantastic. So, it can be as simple as that. I'm going to do the same with mint. You know, all the craziness I was going through. Listen, if it's not easy, I don't do it. That's all there is to it. Now, what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to take you around the garden and show you, you know, what it looks like. I've got it all cleared out, you know, ready for somebody that wants to, you know, buy it. We had a girl come through today, young girl, just great energy. She was here with her dad. She might have been in her mid-20s, maybe. She just, you could see her looking in the garden. They must have taken 50 pictures. Um, they stood outside of the house for a really long time. Really liked her real estate agent. I had another woman who was sort of interested, but she was pretty smart. I mean, he was really smarmy. I don't like him, the agent. And the girl was saying things like, well, I need to see this. I need to see that. And I thought, yeah, and I need to see an offer on my house before I start breaking my back for you. So whatever. Like I said, you know, I've got, you know, I'm holding the cards because I'm in not no hurry to get out of here. You know, I mean, we're pretty comfortable here, so whatever. But I had a good feeling about that gal. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's go uh, look at the garden, shall we? Turning it around. Oh, you got to see how clean my house is, though. I moved furniture out of here, so it's my kitchen. Doesn't that look cute? I love it. So yeah, so I'm having my tea. Everything's so clean. My living room. Of course, a sleeping cat. We have to take the cats out and put them in carriers. And Joe took the bird for a car ride because that bird will yell at him and just freak him out. So doesn't it look pretty? It's all nice and clean. We got kitten, kitten. Hi, kitten, kitten. That's not the baby. The baby's name is Steve. See the baby's on the chair there. All right, bird's in the closet. Bird likes to hang out in this closet. Bedroom's all nice and clean. Cute, huh? 
I would flip out if I saw this house. I have to have it. In the office. Doesn't that look great? Yeah. All right, let's go out in the yard. The basement's clean. The outside's clean. <laughs> and I mean, it's clean, clean. Okay, here we go. Hi, little bee. You can see I moved all the pots off the deck. Got rid of, I have two buckets still with fennel in them. So, but you know, really cleaned it up. All the tropical plants are in the garage. It still looks fantastic. Look how green and beautiful it still is. But look at all those pots are gone now. <coughs> I think we'll take this little dog with us though. Remember I had buckets and everything here. All this is cleared out. Remember all my tropical plants, eggplants, everything, it's all gone. Palm trees are in the garage. All this is gone. These were our compost bins in the garage. They're now empty. Pots are gone. All the pots are gone there. Remember, had all the eggplants here. They're all gone. And look at the beans. The rain gutter garden, everything is gone here now. You know that was a lot of work, don't you? Here's all our tropical plants in the garage. We have grow lights. So just working on, you can see I still have vegetables. Look at my rhubarb, it just never dies. You can see my carrots, my parsnips. Okay, here's that kale that I'm just so nutty about. Still have strawberries. Look at this kale, this is the red Ursa. Look at that. Fantastic. There's my celery. And there's that thousand head kale. That's like five feet, five feet tall. Yeah, five feet tall. Parsnips. Swiss chard is covered. Okay, and then I just, these are pots ready, I mean buckets ready to go with uh, incredible soil in them. So I'm leaving these black bins here. I'm just cleaning those out and I'm taking the trough with me. So I'm, that's what I'm putting in buckets. But this is just about done. All those plants and everything, all gone. Yeah, pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> Go to the front. And then working on that, working on it. You know, cause it's fall and it was a lot of flowers and they're starting to die back. Normally, I would just do chop and drop, but raspberries, blackberry. Pull the cucumber plants here. All our garbage going out. Look at our asters. So many bees love this. Oh look, it's macaroni. I must be filming the movie star. Are those purple enough for you? There's always bees in these. Come on, Mac. But you can see, not bad for fall, huh? keep it cleaned up. You can see the curb is really growing in. Now this here was the high sup that was growing out of a barrel and I transplanted it into this. So anything I could transplant into a pot, I have done so. Of course, Swanee's going with me.
I really worked hard on this, didn't I, you guys? You can see a lot of this started to spread. It's going to look real pretty next year. Clean this all up yesterday. Chamomile. Come on, Mackie. This is Pussy Willow. Come on. Come on. Those are my grapevines. I'm taking them to Florida. I put them in pots, dug them up from the ground. Come on. Max leading the way. Oh, so much work. <laughs> yeah. You know, it really is like a big art project. I'm ready to go. Like, oh, Mackie. What are you doing, huh? You want to be in here? Here's Mackie. Mac. What you doing? So much work. Wow. I don't know. But it has really been like a big art project for me. And I could make this even better, but I don't know. I'm ready to take on something different. You know? So let's hope that girl goes for it because she had great energy. She deserves this place. She seemed excited about it. And I want somebody in here that really cares and feeds the birdies. And then we've got our our uh, chipmunks, the Sammies. We call them the Sammy family. The Sammies have to be fed, right? And the two awful squirrels that never leave the bird feeder alone, they have to be fed. And we've got like 30 birds that come here to be fed. So he's got to feed them. We're used to it. So, and we have doves and, you know, they're expecting some food. So, we'll see what happens. We saw a great house in Florida. It's really beachy. It's not one of those HOAs. It's like six blocks from the beach. So we'll see. Perfect area for a garden. You know, easy to put it in our tropical plants. I don't know. I get a feeling that we're going to be out of here this month or beginning of November. But I could be wrong, right? Alright, so anyways, daydreaming with you guys and just showing you what's going on. So I think I got you caught up. So I told you about the tea and just check in the, uh, the video, the yesterday's video uh, for, you know, those links. I did finally get to it. And let's see, what is today? So you know what yesterday means. Today is Tuesday, October 8th. Tomorrow's the 9th, Thursday's the 10th, and Friday's the 11th, it's my birthday, yeah. Peter, thank you for the anniversary greeting card. That was really sweet of you, really sweet. I know you're always so busy, so thank you so much. Okay, everybody, a Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. Okay, I am sending you a ton of love. You all deserve it. Okay, goodbye.